Hello everyone, today you are going to learn how to do printing with your design fully carved out on the lino pad. I am going to show you one color printing, two color printing and three color printing. Before you start printing, make sure you check that your design on the lino pad are fully carved out. Also check that the carvings on your lino pad are not shallow. Now let's start. Cover your table fully with the newspapers. I just realized that I do not have any newspaper right now, so I will just be using my cutting mats to cover my table. We will also need acrylic sheet, brayer rollers, printing ink, baron, your visual journal and your completed carved lino pad. I am going to show you one color printing first. Squeeze out the color. Use the brayer to roll the ink on the acrylic sheet. While rolling, lift up the brayer occasionally to get a thin and even covering of ink on the brayer. You can roll the brayer the other direction, but this only applies for one color printing. Now, roll the brayer on the lino pad evenly. Do not roll the ink on the lino pad for too long or else the ink will dry out and when you print, you won't see the ink. Check that all the areas have ink, especially the corners. Place the liner pad on the visual journal facing up. Now, place the opposite page on the liner pad. Use the baron to rub on the areas where your liner is. Do not move the paper while rubbing. Slowly turn the page back. This print has the right amount of ink. The carved areas can be seen clearly. I'm going to show you the other possible prints that can happen. This print does not have enough ink. You can barely see anything being printed. This lino has too much ink. This can happen if you do not roll out the ink on the acrylic sheet with the brayer properly. This is the print that has too much ink. Now I'm going to show you how to do two color printing. First method. Squeeze good amount of ink side by side like this. Use the brayer to spread the ink. Keep rolling until you get a good gradient. Do not roll it in the other or opposite direction, otherwise it will mess up your color gradient. Now, roll the brayer on your lino evenly. Do not roll it in the opposite direction. Place your lino on your journal. Turn the opposite page on the lino, rub the paper with baron evenly, and slowly turn the page back. There you go. Now, I'm going to show you the second method for the two-color printing. Place the lino on the journal first. Outline the perimeter of the lino with pencil. For this method, always start with the light color first. I'm using yellow for my first print. Roll out the ink evenly with the brayer. Now, roll the ink on the lino pad on areas that I want it to be yellow only. So for this, I only want my background to be yellow. This is a faster way to do a two-color print like this. I'm rolling the yellow on my background carefully. Place the lino facing up in the box drawn. Turn the opposite page. Rub with Baron. Now you have the first color print. I'm going to do the next color on the same print. I'm using red. Now I'm going to roll the ink on the areas I want it to be red only. Place the lino within the box. Turn the page. Rub with Baron. There you go. Another method for two color printing. Squeeze out the three colors side by side. Use the large brayer and roll out the ink until you get a nice gradient. Remember not to roll in the opposite direction because we do not want to mess up the gradient. Roll the ink on the lino. Place the lino facing up. Turn the page. Rub with Baron. Next is the second method of three color printing. 
Place your lino on the journal first. Outline the perimeter of the lino with pencil. For this method, always start with the lightest color first. I'm using yellow for my first print. Roll out the ink evenly with the brayer. Now, roll the ink on the lino pad on areas that I want it to be yellow only. Roll it carefully but don't take too long, otherwise the ink will dry out. Place the lino facing up in the box drawn. Turn the opposite page, wrap with Baron. Now, you have your first color print. Next color, I'm going to use red. I'm rolling the ink on red areas that I want it to be red only. Place the lino facing up in the box drawn. Turn the opposite page, rub with Baron. There goes your second color print. For the final color, I'm going to use blue. I'm rolling the ink on areas that I want it to be blue only. Place the lino facing up in the box drawn. Turn the opposite page, rub with Baron. There you go, another method of tree color printing. Have fun doing your printing, guys!